How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I want to compare this graded card against these three. So as I've mentioned in the intro, I want to compare this graded slab against these three. Of course, these three are from the big three grading companies. We have PSA, we have CGC, and we have BGS. And this one is from a newer grading company called Card Market Grading, located in Germany. They actually started grading last year, but they recently updated their slab design, so this is why I wanted to check this out. So I'm not going to be comparing these grading companies in terms of which one adds the most value or is the most reliable to your card. If you have a really precious Pokemon card and a really rare one, then you should definitely either grade it with PSA or BGS. But in this video I want to compare, first of all, how the slabs look, which one looks the best, which one feels the best, and of course the security measures, how do you tell a fake one from a real one, what do these grading companies do to ensure that you can tell that immediately. So let's start it off with the first one here, I got this bag recently, as I've mentioned it is from Card Market Grading, and just looking at this, I think I really like the look of this. I like the label of the of this uh, graded slab, I like the metallic effect that they're trying to go for here, and I really like the big labels, which is part of the reason why I like CGC for the big labels, but we get to that in a second. And also the bag is, is really, really clean. You just have the grading company name and the QR code, of course, to scan that and immediately go to the pop control, which they also have added in a recent update. When they first started grading in last year, they didn't have a, a pop control, but they do now. So this is really nice. The one thing that I do not like about this car or about this um, slab is the frosted effect uh, surrounding the card. It is not as pronounced as, for example, with the PSA cards, but it is there, and I figured I should mention that. Now to take a look at the PSA graded card, I think if people talk about grading cards, the first company that comes to mind is PSA. They have been in the game for so long. They're doing an amazing job, I think and the slab itself looks very good. The label is one part, either you hate it or you love it, it's similar with the CGC one, but I think it looks good. It's definitely not my favorite, but I don't hate it by any means. As I've mentioned with the card market grading slab though, I do not like the frosted border that surrounds the card. For this one it is much more pronounced as for the card market grading slab, but I still think this looks really slick. Now moving on to the CGC slab, which I think actually brings perfectly into discussion the color combination between the label and the card, which in this case works really well. The Skyla card right here, you can see the background and her clothing are mostly blue, which works very, very well with the blue label up here. Also the clouds are white, which works for this label, which goes into a slight white gradient right here. And I think I really, really like the look of this CGC slab. I think it looks really clean. As I've mentioned, I don't like frosted borders, so this is just perfect. It's perfectly three-through, very clear, and a very, very nice-looking slab, in my opinion. Now to move it on to our final slab, which is the BGS, or Beckett Grading Service slab. And once again, this looks really clean. I do really like the look of this Beckett slab. I think it might actually be my favorite one. It's hard to shoot to, to choose between the CGC and Beckett one, but once again this looks really clean. The card is uh, protected in a sleeve in this case, which I personally really like, although I have heard from a couple of people that sometimes the sleeve inside this ends up damaging the card. I can't confirm that or deny that, so but I thought I should mention that. And of course, as I've mentioned with the color combination, um, BGS also has different labels depending on the grade you get. For example, anything below an 8.5 gets a paper label, which I think doesn't look as good. Then anything um, a 8.5 and a 9 gets a silver label similar to this one. And then a 9.5 gets a bronze label and then a 10 gets a gold label. And of course you have the infamous black label if you get perfect hands in every single subcategory. And the black label actually works really well with the likes of the shiny Charizard V and shiny Charizard V Max from Shining Fates. And both of these in a black label BGS look absolutely insane. But other than that, I think this case looks really really slick. 
Now let's move it on how these cases feel. All of them feel really solid. None of them are going to break or fall apart, I feel like. The only thing that I would like to mention is that the plastic from the card market grading slab doesn't feel nearly as premium as the other ones right here. If I had to choose, I would definitely say the CGC one feels like the highest quality, followed by the BGS one and the PSA one, both in the same spot right here. Doesn't mean by any means that this slab feels cheap, it just feels cheaper than the other ones. Now let's move it on to the security measures. One thing that card market grading added with these new slabs is a symbol down at the bottom of the slab, which is similar to what PSA has. It's basically just the card market logo that they've added, and I feel like that is a nice addition to the security, and it's definitely a right step in the or correct step in the right direction, I should say. In terms of security and checking if your slab is fake, nothing beats PSA. There are so many security measures for a PSA slab. For example, as I've mentioned for the card market grading slab, you can see there is the PSA lettering on the border of the case right here, which is also really hard to replicate. You have, of course, the sticker up here, which by shining it into the light, you can see there is a lot of PSA or a little PSA letters holographic in that sticker. I think that's really hard to replicate. You also have a really, really slight blue lettering here calling PSA. I don't know if you can make it out on the video. In person, definitely can. It is kind of difficult, but it is there definitely. And of course, the on the back right here, you have a similar sticker. This is also depending on how the light hits it. You have the small PSA lettering. And also, this is really, really hard to replicate, I feel like. Making out which one is fake and which one is real is really, really easy. And I think PSA definitely takes the cakes for this one. But let's compare the other ones. So, the CGC one doesn't actually have a logo anywhere here on the slab. What it does have is this sticker right here. I'll say sticker. It isn't actually on the back of the case. It's like inside the case. Holographic sticker. I don't know how hard it would be to replicate this, but I feel like this is a really nice addition. In addition to that, you can also, upon grading your cards at CGC, you can pay a little bit of money if extra to have them take high resolution photos of your card inside the case. So if you ever buy a, a used card, or a used case I should say, you can always compare the pictures on their website with this serial number right here, and it's kind of look for like blemishes on the card. And it's really easy to tell if the card you're buying is actually the card that's corresponding to the serial number right here. Okay, one thing that I would like to mention as well, another security measure right here on the banner, there's a similar effect to what the PSA sticker has, which is just like reflective and it reflects, I think, the CGC logo. It's really hard to pick up on video, but I think you can see it right here. Okay, and checking out the last slab in terms of security measures, I think right off the bat, I think getting this Beckett logo right here is going to be really hard to replicate as well as the label. And one thing that also this case has similar to the PSA and card market grading slab, which is a number that is written down here, that isn't actually outside the case as compared to the PSA and card market grading slab. That's actually inside the case, so I feel like that's even more difficult to replicate. And then, of course, at the top here, you also have the Beckett writing. There you go. And that's right another bonus. One thing that I would like to mention as well, if you have graded cards, you most likely use these sleeves, which were perfectly fine for any of these three. But because the BGS one is a lot thicker and a lot bigger than the other ones, these normal sleeves do not fit. So you have to get special sleeves just for BGS slaps. And if we're talking about security, PSA easily takes the cake on this one. There are so many measures that you can look out for to tell a fake slap from a real one, and it's really, really easy to do so. Overall, of course, it's always personal preference of which cases or which slaps you think looks best. To me personally, it's a tie between the BGS and the CGC one. I think for BGS, it highly depends on what grade you get. For example, of course, this label looks really cool, but I think anything below an 8.5 with a paper label would look not as good as this one. So anything below an 8.5 I would definitely grade with CGC, anything above I would probably grade with Beckett. If there wasn't the issue of living in Europe, which is why 
I'm comparing these. This is a nice alternative, as I've mentioned in the shorts video. Check it out if you haven't already. So there you have it. That was my comparison of the card market graded slab between these three. They are a new grading company, so they still have a lot to learn, but I think this is a great start and I'm definitely excited to see what they will do in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. If you didn't like the video, tell me in the comments what I should change, what I could have done differently, and I'll try to remember that for future videos. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace.